Well, with the holidays rapidly approaching, mail carriers are working 10 to 12 hour shifts during these cold winter days in an effort to get packages to your doorstep. Like many industries, postal workers are handcuffed by staffing shortages, impacting their ability to get mail delivered in a timely manner. KXOY's Jordan Smith heard from mail carriers and their families about the frustrations mounting in the mail room. He joins us in studio with more. Jordan. Well, I spoke with a mail carrier today and he vented his frustration of why he actually got out of the industry. And we also heard from the families of these postal workers who are frustrated with these 12 to 14 hour shifts. Take a listen. Mail carriers are battling icy walkways and grueling schedules. Many working more than 12 hours per day just to keep up with the growing number of package deliveries this holiday season. They're working in the dark, so they're working like 12, 14 hour days with no days off. Michelle is the mother of a mail carrier in our region. She tells us many carriers are often apprehensive to speak to the media of problems brewing in the mail room, fearful it could cost them their job. For that reason, she asked us not to use her last name to protect her daughter. They're not allowed to talk to the media. The workers are not? No, they're not supposed to talk to any media. Mail carriers get paid an average of roughly $20 an hour and receive a multitude of different benefits. Despite this, many new hires are unable or unwilling to keep up with the demanding schedule that's required. They'll hire employees, but then the employees stay for two days and realize how demanding the work is and how many hours and with no days off and they quit. This is not a problem exclusive to Spokane. Pretty much 6 a.m. in the morning to 8 at night, seven days a week. But across the country, Edward Pfizer was a mail carrier in Virginia for roughly 18 months before stepping away from the profession. He made it much longer than most, saying it was rare for a new hire to make it past the first month. They would go through the first two weeks of training and then come to the post office and start the, you know, going on the routes with the carriers and then leave after one or two days. The carrier shortage plays into a larger problem. Both Michelle and Edward tell us that mail carriers are being asked to prioritize packages over standard mail deliveries. They're told to by their supervisors. You could be out there delivering mail and say you're helping out on another route, taking the mail and packages from it. Management would actually call you on the phone and tell you to stop delivering mail and just finish delivering the packages. And the USPS continues to refute those claims, saying, quote, we are seeing historic package volume in the Spokane area, and we are flexing every available resource, including delivering packages as early as 6 a.m. each day. And we also reached out to the USPS multiple times, asking if employees would be disciplined if they spoke with the media. As of news time, we still haven't heard back. And so if you're dealing with mail delays at home, we'd love to hear from you. Shoot us an email at news4 at kxly.com. Guys? Jordan, thank you.